What's up, fam? It's Richie from Social Rapunzel here, and welcome to my fortress. <laughs> I'm hot and sweaty. Now, is it hot outside? or am I overdressed? I think everyone knows the answer to that one. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but the house is black. It did not come like this, but I'm already getting a lot of questions about the exterior. The most popular question would be, does it get significantly more hot than a regular color like white or baby blue? Any house built in the last 25 years has modern insulation, so, the difference is negligible. This is the first time I've owned a home, which I never thought I'd be able to do, which is really super duper neat. I've been living here for about six months, and all of those six months have been completely packed with painting and trying to come up with interior design ideas, and it's it's been a journey. It's never done, and it will always constantly be changing, assuming I'm going to be here for a long time. Uh, so, I'd like to show you what I've done so far. Oh, hello there. I wish I took more videos of this place when I first moved in because it looked nothing like this. Amazon mirror, of course. Have to have the kind of useless ring light. It's not very bright, but it looks cool. I have a fireplace that I will probably never actually use. I, I guess I'll, I'll turn it on for the video. Okay, well I guess it doesn't turn on. <laughs> Moving on. I think I've had the exact same setup as seen in my first house tour video. Oh, hi, hi Scorn, hello. Hello, this is his sleeping spot. I've had these lamps and the same TV and these same speakers and this same table and the same couch and nothing ever changes. But probably the thing I'm most happy about and so is Scorn, are the shelves, which Scorn does actually use. He, he does use them, I, I swear. I made all of the curtains myself, and by made, I mean went to a fabric store, bought some felt and some velvet, which is over here, and just hung them on some poles. And I don't know, I think they look neat. This kitchen is probably the nicest kitchen I've ever been associated with. There is so much cabinet space that I will never ever use. What do we have in here? What do we, oh, oh, nothing. Wow. Wow, what, what do we, oh, more, more nothing. Oh, that's amazing. When I first started painting this room, I was afraid that there was going to be too much black. So I made half the room white and half the room black. Um, and I like the way it turned out. Look at how fancy these panels are. Wow. Lamp, 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 lamp. Also for the first time ever, I have an upstairs and a downstairs. Let's do downstairs first. I always wanted the entrance to the studio to feel like this impenetrable black void. So it's just, it's just all black going in. Wow. This is my studio! You wanna see the red room, don't you? I don't normally show anyone the red room, but I guess I can make an exception just for us. My studio.
This is my logo that gets very hot. Ooh. As far as my setup goes, it really hasn't changed all that much. I've had these speakers since 2015. I have used the same micro Korg for my MIDI controller, uh, Pro Tools, multi-screen setup. Oh, hello. Oh goodness. I think my favorite new feature about this version of the studio in this house is that I now have a VR room. So I wouldn't say it's a completely dedicated VR room. I also record in here because I have treated the walls, but I made this whole pulley system that I saw on the internet and it works real well. But I guess you can say I've become a bit of an enthusiast. I don't know, it's fun. It's really fun. Totally not an unhealthy escape from the real world and my problems. It would never, I would never, I would never do that. A small detail, but I still want you to know, these stairs were originally beige or super ugly. And when I first moved in, I thought I was just gonna have to replace the carpet, which is expensive and I don't wanna do it. And I know that I can't do it myself. But then I found this stuff, which is a fabric paint for the interior of cars. And it worked out really well. I have a friggin' garage now. It's almost like I never finished moving. Wow, look at all this merchandise at IndieMade.SocialRepose.com. <laughs> I can't forget the stripes. So I guess this is supposed to be the master bedroom. And uh, I don't use it as a bedroom. I use it as a production studio. Wings, 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 wings. A casual mountain of fake snow that gets everywhere once you use it. These lights on the wall are kind of boring, but I'm proud of it, so I want to talk about it for a second. Now, back in the day, when I wanted to shoot a YouTube video, I had to go into my tiny little broom closet, take out all my lights that I needed for the specific shot, set them up, film the video, and then clean up, unplug everything, put it back in the closet, and do it all again the next day. But now, since I'm my own landlord, I can nail the lights to the wall, and it's convenient. Ta-da! Never forget, I didn't know what I wanted to do with this hallway for the longest time. But then I finished the stripes and I was like, ooh, that looks nice. Let's repeat it a lot more. And I like it. Now to our left, we have Scorn's personal bathroom because he deserves it. Litter box. So this door leads to my bedroom and it's exactly what you think it would look like. It's all black. There's not actually a ton to say about my bedroom besides matte black walls, art. I think more often than not, I sleep during the day. I can't get a hold of my sleep schedule. Uh, and, and the black walls actually help because it could be 1 p.m. full daylight and it is pitch black in here because the walls. I think the only thing that I'm actually proud of is this over under LED strip and I tried so many different methods to cover up this LED strip and I finally settled on black cardboard paper stapled to the wall. I used the same method I did on the staircase where I just spray painted the whole bottom of the room, but it's very soft. Like it, it doesn't, it doesn't feel bad because I walked on it enough. And now for the final room, of the upstairs, I saved the least interesting for last. Wow, so aesthetic. I think that's it. That's all the house that I have th that I'd like to show you. I've been kind of hesitant to make a video like this. Even though I've made videos like this in the past, it's a very typical YouTuber thing to do house tours. But with how the state of the world is right now, I don't want 
this kind of content to seem like I'm flaunting what I have. Uh, I, I worked very hard to design all these rooms and to decorate them. I do everything by myself and I try to be as DIY as possible. I don't like hiring people and I'd like to think that even if I had a regular job, I would still decorate everything like this. This is what I've always wanted and it's going to continue to change and maybe I'll make updates in the future, but for now I just, I want to live in a space that inspires me because I spend all of my time inside this house. I just really like having fun with my living spaces and I hope that you enjoyed viewing it. I'm trying to think if I forgot anything before I close out this video and a lot of people have asked what the house looks like at night on the outside, so let's see. Don't forget to stay sad, but not too sad. And I'll see ya in the next one. Mwah.